Last time at the Snowed Inn. I'm the new official owner of Snowed Inn. Aw, man. What am I going to do stuck in Switzerland? I'll be snowed in at the Snowed Inn watching local hotels compete for the Mount Mittenwald Cup. Hey, the name's Brody. Brody Summers. You don't happen to ski or snowboard, do you? Uh, no, I've never even seen snow before. I mean, like, until today. <laughs> you guys will never believe who I found. Legendary skier Zoe Frost. Say hello, Zoe. Um, hello? Who am I talking to? All the followers of Summer Surfing. We're hosting this year's Mount Mittenwald Cup? Yeah? How did I not realize this? I'm desperate to find someone to compete for us. <laughs> Come on, you've got what it takes. I just know it. I've decided I'll compete for Snowed In. Really? Sure. I must have ended up here for a reason too, right? Yes! Thanks, Brody. Snowed In officially has one competitor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sweet! It's like a like a snow tsunami. <gasps> a snow nami! I gotta grab my surfboard. What? Why? Well, to shred some snow. It should get awesome traction on that fresh powder. Um, no. You can start training me to compete for snowed in. No time like the present, you, right? You cannot go out there. Did you not hear what I said? Avalanche. So, what's the big deal? It stopped, didn't it? The big deal, the big deal. The big deal is that avalanches can cause uh, power outages, road closures, there will be enough food, frozen pipes, and the toilets won't flush, <gasps> and the- The toilets won't work? This is serious. Um, yeah. <gasps> oh, Whoa. no! You can't lose your cool. I try to stay chill in situations like these. I don't know if you realized it, but chill is not usually my go-to. Well then, why do you buy an inn in the Swiss Alps? <laughs> so funny. Snowden, this is Nicholas speaking. How may I assist you? Hello. We are calling all hotels to inform them that the Mount Mittenwald Cup will continue as scheduled in the morning. All events will be moved inside of the hosting location, the Snowed Inn, and all rules will be followed under the In Case of Avalanche Protocol found in the Mount Mittenwald Cup playbook. Thank you. I'll let Zoe know. We will be in touch soon. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. I'm just saying, jacuzzi surfing could really be a thing here. Uh, I have a message for you from the committee. Uh-huh. Is okay. it about the cup? All right. Is it canceled? <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll be right there, Mrs. Lewinberger. The games are still happening. Oh, sweet. I need to post a vlog update stat. A vlog update? Seriously? We need to actually figure out how we're going to host events that can't happen outside. Oh, oh, I got it. What? So we can shovel the snow and bring it inside. Like maybe have the staircase be a, a makeshift snowboarding mountain. <laughs> if we pack it tight enough and turn down the AC, it won't melt. Where are you going? Don't forget the shovels. I'm not going to get shovels. I've got to make a plan for how to actually make all of this work inside. But Have you forgotten that I'm responsible for keeping this entire event and keeping the guests comfortable here during an avalanche? Seems pretty impossible to me, but here I am on my own figuring it out. I can help. But what? You have another silly idea you want to throw out there? There's too much to do and not nearly enough time. I've got to find the protocol that this message is talking about. All right, uh, that sounds good. I guess I'll just give you some time. <laughs> What's up, summer surfing fam? The gnarliest thing just happened. Avalanche in the Alps, whoa! Ugh, this place is a disaster. Yet another thing I have to do, clean the office. <laughs> Ah, finally, the playbook. 
In case of power outage, in case of train crash, in case of falling trees, in case of Yeti sighting, ugh. in case of missing equipment, in case of exploding fireplaces, in case of Swiss cheese poisoning, in case of avalanche. Avalanche. Okay, page 34. In case of avalanche, competitors from each hotel will submit an event to be completed indoors, starting with the hosting hotel first. All the events must be submitted by 6 p.m. the prior evening to be reviewed by the committee. All competitors should report to the hotel lobby where the events are being held by 2 p.m. each afternoon with two competitors, either staff or guests of the hotel. Well, that's just great. Now I have to figure out the plan and the rules for the first event of the club. Plan the first event? And I've only ever seen the normal outdoor events. What can we possibly do inside that the committee will approve? Maybe not the right time to make a suggestion, but I think I can figure this out. Zoe, Zoe, this is Nicola. Yes. Zoe here. We are low on firewood. Of course we are. Look, if anything else I need to know pops up, just put a note on the office door. I have to figure out the first event before I do anything else. Will do. Get on your feet. It's time to sing to God. I'm only human. I'm not like you. I tell a lie. You tell the truth. I change my mind. You speak, you act, you keep your promises. He says he's with me. I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper. He says he loves me I know he'll always be a promise maker Promise keeper I'm only human I'm not like you I tell a lie You tell the truth I change my mind You speak, you act You keep your promises He says he's with me I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper He says he loves me, I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper Dance, now feel the beat, everybody rock, get on your feet Dance, now feel the beat, everybody rock, get on your feet Dance, now feel the beat. Everybody rock, get on your feet. Dance, now feel the beat. Everybody rock, get on your feet. I say promise, you say maker. Promise, maker. Promise, maker. I say promise, you say keeper. Promise, keeper. Promise, keeper. I say promise, you say maker. Promise, maker. Promise, maker. I say promise, you say keeper. Promise, keeper. Promise, keeper. He says he's with me. I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper He says he loves me, I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper He says he's with me, I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper He says he loves me, I know he'll always be a promise maker, promise keeper Great singing. You can take a seat. Do you know what it is? Try to guess the picture before the answer is revealed. Shout out your best guess. Great job. Great job. Oh, great job! What's up, my dudes and dudettes? I'm trying out stair sledding as an indoor event option to suggest to Zoe. <laughs> 
comment below if you think we should submit this as the first Mount Mittenwald Cup event. You guys ready? Cowabunga! Three, two, one! Oh, dude, oh, gnarly wipeout. Wow, what was that? Oh, that was me. I overheard Zoe saying that she has to plan the first event of the game and I wanted to give her some options. So I thought I'd try out stair sledding. Ouch. <sighs> oh, turns out a bunch of these thick hats don't really work like a helmet. Yeah, here, let me go get you some ice. Oh, thanks, Ice dude. And hot cocoa. <sighs> nice. I'm not usually one for cold weather, but I could get used to cocoa access 24 7. Yeah, so when we've had to move the events inside before, we've done things like an indoor snowman building competition, a snow cone eating contest, a cocoa drinking contest. Most mug sipped in 10 minutes wins. Well, I totally dominate that one. You know what you should do though? Um, drink cocoa while jacuzzi surfing? <laughs> no, you should make it a spicy cocoa contest. Really? How? By putting hot peppers, cayenne, and sriracha in it. Contestants from other hotels won't be expecting that. Well, I am a spice master. One time when I was at a surfing competition in South America, ate a Trinidad scorpion pepper, didn't even phase me. Well, that's perfect. It sounds like Snowden could take first place at the start of the events. Do you want me to submit it as the official event to the committee? Oh, well, I don't know. Without Zoe's permission? Where is she? I, th I thought she'd be back by now. Oh, uh, some other things went wrong with the hotel. I'm guessing she's working on those. You want to help her with this though, right? Sure I do. Good, then it's settled. I'll submit the event and you can get to training. I'm sure she'll be around to help soon. Well, all right, if you think that's best. Heaters, electrician needed. Toilets backed up in rooms 12, 17, and 23. Rule change from committee. The owner of the hotel must be one of the participants in all events. Oh no! What? Ugh. I literally cannot do this. Just because you had an injury, lost your hopes, dreams, and skiing career does not mean you can go around making rash decisions like purchasing an inn, Zoe. What was I thinking? Why didn't anyone stop me? Now I'm here all alone and have no one to help me fix these problems. Ow. What? What is this? Does that say events? Where does this even go? Oh, maybe in here? This office is from the dark ages. Ugh. Please have something helpful. In the Bible, there's a true story about a woman named Naomi. Naomi was very sad because her husband and her two sons had died in the land of Moab where they were living. Naomi was left with the wives of her two sons. One was named Orpah, and the other was named Ruth. 
At first, Naomi was very sad. She didn't know what to do. When she heard that God was providing food and help for her people in the land of Judah, she decided to go back to where she was from so she could have a better life. When Orpah and Ruth wanted to go with Naomi, she insisted they stay in Moab, the land they were from. This made the girls very sad. They cried, saying, we want to go back to your people with you. But Naomi insisted the girls go back to their families. Orpah decided to go and said goodbye, but not Ruth. Ruth told Naomi she couldn't leave her. Ruth wanted to go where Naomi went. She wanted Naomi's people to be her people. And best of all, Ruth wanted Naomi's God to be her God. Naomi realized that Ruth had made up her mind to go with her, so she stopped trying to make her stay in Moab. The two women went on their way to Naomi's hometown. When they arrived, it was time for the harvest and all of the fields were full of wheat. Naomi and Ruth needed food, so one day Ruth decided to walk behind the farmers in their fields and pick up any of the grain they dropped. The field she went to work in belonged to a man named Boaz. Boaz was Naomi's relative and saw Ruth working. He thought about how kind she was to help Naomi. Boaz wanted to take care of Ruth, so he told his workers to let extra grain fall to the ground for Ruth to have. Boaz fell in love with Ruth, and they were eventually married. Naomi was so happy that God had given her a new family to love. It wasn't long before God gave Boaz and Ruth a baby boy named Obed. There's a promise in Psalm 46.1 that says, God is our protection and source of strength. He is always ready to help us in times of trouble. God kept this promise and was with Naomi and Ruth, giving them protection and the strength they needed. Wow, that story from the Bible and God's promise is true. In times of trouble, God is our protection and strength. Okay, calm down, Zoe. If God is with me, I can handle the cup, an avalanche, being a contestant in the games, fixing broken toilets, and whatever else happens. <sighs> Freezer broken, backup generator not working. Fire in the housekeeping wing. We put it out, but the washing machine no longer functioning. What? Fire? <sighs> It's okay, Zoe. God is with you. You can do this. Heater's working. Check. Handyman snowmobiling to the inn. Check. Um, what is going on? Um, doing some, uh, training. Training for? <sighs> I came by the office earlier and I overheard that Snowden has to pick the first event. You sounded like you totally lost your chill, so I thought I could get some ideas together. And that's when Nicola suggested a spicy cocoa competition. So I've been getting ready for it. Wait, spicy? Yeah, don't worry though, I'm totally ready. Uh, Brody, I do not handle spicy very well. It's not like you have to drink any of it. Do you know who's competing with me? Oh, I know who. Who? Me. <gasps> Nicola put a note on the office door that said there's been a rule change and the owner of the hosting hotel has to be one of the competitors. Dude, that's awesome. Oh, we're totally gonna win this thing. And don't worry about the whole spicy thing. I know we can do it. Sweet. You wanna do some training? Sure. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What's gotten into you? What do you mean? You just seem so, well, un -Zoe. Um, I found this thing in the office. Whoa, what is that? It's something people used like decades ago to store things and then play them on a computer. Oh, vintage, bro. Yeah, but anyway, it had a story from the Bible on it about Ruth and Naomi and how God was with them in times of trouble. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've heard that one before. Yeah, it talked about how God promises to protect us and give us strength in difficult times. So I just realized I need to trust that promise, even when I'm responsible for hosting a massive indoor event in an avalanche. <laughs> Whoa, I'm impressed. And I'm stoked that we get to be partners for all these events. Yeah. That's vlog worthy. <laughs> What's up, fam? Some seriously cool developments from the Mount Mittenwald Cup Games. Zoe Frost is gonna be my partner for all the events. It's gonna be epic. Tune in at 2 p.m. for the first event. Summer surfing, signing off. Signing off. <laughs> 
You and that vlog of yours. Out of all things you can put in cocoa, spicy peppers, really? Welcome to day one of the annual Mount Mittenwald Cup. My name is Olaf and of course, always by my side is Hans. Olaf, today's competition is the hottest chocolate. This is gonna be one spicy bath. Oof, I'd be scared stiff to have to sip those scorching soups. Well, it's not soup, but our contestants will be drinking some very spicy chocolate. Ouchie. The chocolate is melted, the peppers have been picked. It's time to- Hopefully all those peppers will melt the snow off the roads. What? I'm just saying, hopefully all those peppers will melt the snow off the roads, you, you know, from the avalanche. That's not how peppers work. Anyway, let's go to our game announcer, Anna, for the rules for today's competition. Contestants, keeping with Mount Mittenwald Cup tradition, when you hear the cuckoo clock, you may begin today's hottest chocolate competition. Each cup of cocoa will get spicier. The team that finishes the most cups in 10 minutes wins the event. Oh, you ready? Ready. <laughs> After an incredible competition, the Snowed In has taken first place. I'm Hans. And I'm Olaf. We'll see you at the next competition for the Mount Mittenwall Cup. I can't believe we're actually in first place. And I can't believe you drank all that spicy hot cocoa. I thought you were going to give up for sure. I just had to be strong and push through by remembering who was with me. That's right. I've got you. <laughs> well, yes, you. But I was really thinking about the story that I heard yesterday. No matter what happens, good or bad, God promises to always be with me, even if I'm forced to drink super spicy cocoa. Zoe, what do you say we celebrate with a treat? Maybe some regular cocoa with whipped cream, cinnamon sticks, and peppermint. Ugh, I'm officially cocoaed out, but I could go for a celebratory snow cone. <gasps> Dude, sweet. I'm always up for snow cones. All right, let's go. There are tons of flavor options in the kitchen. God promises to be with me. Let's see if you can remember some things we discovered today. Answer correctly and you'll be good to go. Get it wrong and oh no! Even when Zoe felt like she was by herself, was she really alone? Oh no! God was with her the whole time. Whether things are going well or we're going through hard things, God is with us no matter what. Okay, next question. In today's Bible story, did God give protection and strength to Ruth and Naomi? Aw, oh, great job! God protected Ruth and Naomi and gave them strength in difficult times. He promises to do the same for us too. Okay, last one. When we go through hard things, can we remember that God promises to be with us? Even though we can't see God, He promises that He's with us. Everybody bow your heads and let's talk to God right now. Hey God, thank you for loving us and never leaving us. No matter what happens, help us to remember your promise that you are always with us. We love you. Amen. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,